This is for you if you want to manifest an ex back and up leveled version of him or someone new. Welcome to the 14 day queen up challenge. Manifesting anything requires three simple steps. Step number one, setting your intention, your magnetizing intention from the right energy. Days one, two, and three, we cover that. Step two of the manifestation process is learning to hold space for your manifestation. This is where it gets tricky for most people because they're stuck using a tool that absolutely does not work in order to get what you want. It is actually counterintuitive. Learning to use the right tool at the right time is key in order to be able to do this second step successfully. Day six to 10 is where we talk about this. And now we're on step three of the manifestation process. Step three is all about receiving. And most people go about this the wrong way. They're stuck trying to let go of their manifestation, let go of the outcome, let go of that desire, let go of attachment. Here's a question for you, boo. If I tell you, stop thinking about pink elephants, what are you thinking about? There is no such thing as letting go of that thing that you're craving and desiring and want and have been wanting for so long. That does not exist. Thankfully, that is not necessary in order to manifest what you want because receiving is all about being an energetic match to letting that thing that you want come to you. In order to do this step successfully, you have to start asking yourself, what does it mean to be a person that receives? What does that person believe, think, or feel? One of the core beliefs that is integrated for a person that allows themselves to receive with that queen magnetic attractive energy is knowing that the universe has your back. So the task for today is, are you a receiving person or are you not? Do you have this core belief that says the universe has my back? It wants me to have what I want. It is conspiring to give it to me. Share with me in the comments so I can guide you to the next step. And tomorrow we're going to talk about the five key beliefs that you need to have in order to manifest what you want.